OK, Hamilton, we've run the numbers and you do now have a big enough gap ahead of Rosberg to change tyres and stay ahead of him. So you can come into the pits now. Yes, that's very good. And change on to the option tyre. We'll sort that for you. No problem at all. No, Hamilton, we, we may have gone wrong somewhere here. We think we think Rosberg's going to get past you on the start-finish trade. That's a, that's a massive balls up from us. We are very sorry for that. You are, you are in second place now, and have, we've probably thrown the race away for you. OK, Hamilton, we've run the numbers, and we feel like the best tyre to be on at this stage in the Grand Prix is the option tyre. So we'd advise for you to box now, box now and fit the option tyre please yeah we think we've got the strategy absolutely bang on here you should be the fastest car on the circuit oh my word that's a big aquaplane that was not part of the strategy at all something's gone wrong here the boffins at hq must have misjudged the situation because there's no grip at all out there on this tyre the strategy is completely wrong and that's a penalty from the stewards You seem to be struggling, Hamilton, but we've got some good news for you. On the pit wall, we've been doing some more running of some more numbers, and we feel like you're losing a lot of time compared to the other drivers in the Turn 7 and Turn 8 chicane. So we feel like you should be attempting that corner flat out, please. Approaching the corner now, so there's no need to break according to the pit wall. Oh dear, no! Good grief! I think we've got it wrong again. We've got it wrong. Somewhere the numbers have gone wrong. Safety car deployed, penalty, and the, the, the numbers are wrong again. OK, Hamilton, we accept that some of our strategic decisions this season have been a bit, I think, wayward is the word I'd use to describe it. But we've been extra vigilant with this one. We are absolutely miles ahead of the field in this Grand Prix, as, as per usual, really. <laughs> Banter. And uh, you do have enough time to pull up at the side of the racetrack if you'd like and pick up a turkey sandwich off one of our engineers. That would not be a problem at all. So Jeff will just head down now. Yeah, there he is for you. That's absolutely fantastic. Uh, oh, no! No, we've got the numbers wrong. We're not that far ahead. And, uh, and you're down in second. Rosberg's got through that. We're so sorry. We've got the numbers completely wrong again. again I'll tell you what, there's something wrong with our calculator. That's, well, that's definitely not the right way to overtake Massa, but we probably accept that your driving is somewhat compromised by having a sandwich in the cockpit. Uh, but we do hope that you are enjoying it, at least. You've ruined my race, and it doesn't even have any mayonnaise. So, Hamilton, some of the strategic decisions made by your Mercedes team this season have been very confusing and, and often very, very wrong. Um, why do you think it is that they keep making these uh, these strategic errors with you? <laughs> Maybe it's because I'm black. <laughs> That's what LAG says. I don't know. Right then, Hamilton. In, in recent races, you've been very openly critical of our, of our race strategies so far this season. And to be fair, you're absolutely right. They've been nothing short of diabolical. So we've taken your criticism on board and we have run a tremendous amount of numbers for this race to make sure your strategy is absolutely bang on for this race. So with that in mind, we have made the decision to start you on the wet tyre. No, you see, I think, I think we've got it wrong again. Wait a minute. So that's why Mercedes kept sabotaging Lewis's strategy. 